take your long strips fabric and you are going to put them right side facing. That means pretty sides together, folding them in half. And we're gonna press them. These are our apron strings. And those have to be sewn first. the dart kind of looks like a spearhead with a line going up the middle so we're gonna take that dart and I have one on the other side too and first we're gonna fold we're gonna pick it up and fold it on that straight line and we're gonna use our iron and we're gonna press that in I'm just making sure it's nice and straight all the way up through the center now, just put in a pin to show us where it ends and to stabilize the fabric just a little bit. Put in another pin and show us where the other end is. I'm just going to take that and I know that my, I'm going to take the raw end See that of my apron string and I'm gonna insert it all the way up to the edge at the bottom of that dart remember on your pattern where all those little X's were all lined up on that dart that is where we want to put that tie so I'm gonna put it on in there make sure it's flat and smooth inside there one more pin and we are ready to stitch. Okay, so we've got our pinned in dart, all marked, ready to go. I pulled out one pin here because I don't like to run over pins with my machine. It's just my personal hang up. And I'm gonna start it right down there at the dot on the bottom. And I and I pulled out the pin that's holding in my, my tie as well, so I'm stabilizing that with my finger. And I'm gonna go forward a few stitches, and then I'm gonna back tack. Because this part of the dart is gonna take quite a bit of pulling and punishment. I'm going over the apron tie, and I can feel where that is, and I'm actually gonna back tack over the top of that a little bit. And then I'm gonna go on up to the top of the dart, curving it off. Last pin. All right, now I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna pull out a bit of thread because at the top of the dart, I wanna tie the two threads into a little knot. 
so that the dart doesn't pull and separate. Now, just do the same thing on the other side. And then I rolled over the, seat, uh, the, the top edge and gave it just a real quick double turn under probably a half inch hem on there. Now all I have to do is stitch that top part and I think I'm gonna stitch some rickrack into mine. So I'm gonna get some pins and pin that in place. Alrighty. So, run a smock, right? You're gonna turn it wrong side and then you also want your pocket at the bottom facing wrong side. Sew that up across the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to mark this right under with a straight line in Taylor's job. Right under the dart. And you could even put that right even with that. This is going to be for this part of the pocket. See, you'll see the two separate pockets. Put it at the bottom, top stitch up. I did pin it this time because I don't want it to wiggle. I want it to stay straight. Little backpack. Pin at the top, little backpack. 